In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO33 plus NH4OH. This is iron three nitrate plus ammonium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. So I can see that I have three of these nitrate ions here and then just the one here. So I'm gonna put a three in front of the ammonium nitrate. At this point, to balance the ammonium ion, I have three. I'll put a three in front of the ammonium hydroxide. So now I have the ammonium ions are balanced. I have three hydroxides, three hydroxides here. We've balanced the nitrates, and there's an iron on each side. That's the balance molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to put a little AQ after this, which means aqueous. It's soluble. It'll dissolve in water and split apart into its ions. Ammonium compounds are also very soluble, like AQ after that for aqueous. We have ammonium and then the nitrate, that's gonna be soluble, aqueous. And then hydroxides in general, they're insoluble or only slightly soluble. So this iron three hydroxide, it's gonna be, we're gonna call it insoluble. That means that it won't dissolve, it'll be a solid. And these two react, form this solid here, it's a precipitate, it's gonna to fall to the bottom of the test tube. So this will precipitate out. Next, now that we've got the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. So iron's a transition metal. We don't know the charge for iron, but nitrate, the whole nitrate ion here is one minus. We have three of them, so the iron has to be three plus. So we have the iron three ion, that's at Fe three plus. I'll write the states later, let's not do that now. Plus three of these nitrate ions, so three, of the nitrate ions. The ammonium ion, the whole thing is one plus. That's a good one to remember. And then the whole hydroxide, that's one minus. So we have three ammonium ions, and then we'll also have three of those hydroxide ions here, the OH minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said plus and minus. So three ammonium ions, just like in the reactants, and three nitrates, so that's also like the reactants. And then we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we're gonna have this iron three hydroxide. It's gonna to stay together like this as a solid. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I see I have three nitrates right here. And in the products here, I see I have three nitrate ions. Those are spectator ions, we'll cross those out. Reactants, I have three ammonium ions, and again in the product, spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for FeNO33 plus NH4OH. Or I'll clean it up a bit, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron three nitrate plus ammonium hydroxide. You'll note the charges conserved, we have three plus here, three times the one minus, that's three minus. So those add up to give us a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for FeNO33 plus NH4OH. Thanks for watching.